Today, we are blessed to present the insightful phone call entitled "Pray for World Liberation" on between master and disciples, held in English. How are you? I'm、um, good, thank you, Master.、Uh, how is Master? Happy Lunar New Year, huh? Oh, thank you very much, Master. Happy Lunar New Year to you too. Ah,、uh, to you and everyone. Thank you, Master. Hopefully, the people on this planet will be more protected and continue to survive. Yes. Everything's going smoothly over there. The project is going okay. Yes, Master. Everything's good. Thanks to God. Thanks God for things going smoothly. Yeah, it's good. Thank you, too, Master. How are you, Master? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not much of the New Year <laughs> for、oh. me being alone. All、oh, right. But it is quite cool. I don't have time to think too much about anything. Just very busy. Very busy. That's it. All right. Yes. Very yes. busy.、Hmm. Oh. I will send you a photograph. I have just made. I am in selfie, and then you can show it to your brothers and sisters. Okay.、So、they, they will know how I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the the brother he's doing well, huh? The brother who helps, he should be. Yes. Yes. He owns me something <laughs> from the past. Yeah.、Oh, he、thanks. he doesn't remember, but he be willing to do things. Oh. To make up for it,、okay. not that I wanted anything from him. <laughs> yes. Anything that's more uplifting? Yes, we have a couple of things.、Um, Master, could you please tell us more about your dog, people? My what? Master's dog, people. Could you please tell us more about your dog, people? Oh, they are just lovely people. They are just lovely beings and very loyal, very protective,、oh. very respectful in any way. I just do wish that a lot of humans would learn from dog people to be good, to be more in tune with heaven's will. They are truly. Maybe other dog people are different. <laughs> My dogs they are very in tune with heaven's blessing, power, and they are very protective. They do whatever they can and are very very obedient. I can't say obedient; just very cooperative. Very respectful. For example, if I say, "Okay, that's it now,"、uh, petting time's over. <laughs>、uh -huh. I must, I must go continue my work. For example, like that. Then they would just lie down, absolutely quiet. That you could drop a pin and hear it. Wow. Yeah. Or they go to their beds, and they know immediately. If I say go to bed, they know it's their bed time. They go. Even if maybe it's a new situation, a new home, they would know where their bed is, and they will go there and lie down at least for a while. Okay,、oh, and then、yes. maybe sneak back into my <laughs> my place again. Yeah. <laughs> But if I'm still busy, you know, if I'm concentrating, like、uh, maybe meditating or maybe concentrating on my outside work. On、yeah. computer or telephone, then they just lay down quietly,、wow. very, very quietly. No demanding. My God, it's so quiet that that you feel like like there's there's not even no no air in the room. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, they sometimes wake up also very late in the night or very early in the morning to come down in a troop alone to tell me that. I should not work anymore. It's too late now because、uh, some group of demons may be passing by very near and will disturb my peace. For example, like that. Sometimes I don't notice. Then the wrist beings called it by peeing, <laughs> or pooing even in some room or in front of me, so that I will have to notice and listen to what they want to say. It's not pleasant, of course, but 
what can they do if I'm too busy and not listening to their grand advice, like don't work too late. Oh, I, I forgot. Uh, there are so many things, but I cannot say anything. Oh. Like a long time ago, another group of dog people, there was a dog named Happy. Yes. yes. One time I, I didn't see her for a long time. Not long, just like one or two hours. I went shopping. I was alone and taking care of five dog people. And it was a new place. And I always had to move. <laughs> uh, for some reason and for some uh, security stuff. And when I came back, I opened the door. Oh, she didn't jump on me. She didn't bark. She was just like singing in her voice and she danced the most beautiful dance <laughs> that I have ever seen by a dog person. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I have ever seen that on humans either. Wow. I wonder where she learned that. She danced all over from one uh, corner to another, not in a hurry, not hectic, nothing, just so gracefully, so beautifully. Oh. And she looked at me whenever she turned in my direction. And she kept dancing, dancing, I was just standing there. Oh, I also amazing. could not move because I was watching her. Yes. So mesmerized with her dance movement. Oh, wow. And then finally, I can't remember how long, maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes, or more or less. And she came to me, put her paw on my hand. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And then I knelt down and I hugged her and kissed her. And then we went down. I said, oh, thank you so much for this beautiful dance. All the animal people are just so protective of humans. I wish all humans would know this and be grateful. Even all the birds, people around, wherever I go, they're always around. And sometimes I work until very late at night, three, four o'clock in the morning, and the whole sky is dark because I live where there's no lights around. And I don't keep the light on to save electricity and whatever I can, you know. Wow. And I open the door to walk out into maybe a yard or something, just to have some fresh air, yes. a little exercise. And they all somehow woke up. Oh. And they were telling me things or singing things. I, I was so astounded. I said, you cannot be singing at this time. And then I listened, listened, and then they always gave me some encouragement or some advice or some comforting words or some loving messages. Oh. So touching oh, all the time, all the time. And even if they are far away from my place, Yes. Like, you know, they're hiding in some forest edge far away. They still would sing, talk, and tell me things. Oh. And I can hear, I can hear it faintly. Wow. Sometimes I have to use the inner ears to hear because it's too far. Okay. Yeah. And I'm always grateful to all beings around me wherever I go. Yes, Master. Wherever I go, they are such wonderful beings and they're so loving, so kind. They're always very protective of humans, even if I have not seen them. And that's why most dog people don't like you to touch their heads, because this is where they're connected with heaven, oh. heaven uh, power. My dog people don't like it. Oh. Well, I do it. I do it only to touch their third eye and remind them that they're from the divine. Oh. And they should not forget God all the time. Every time I can, I do that. Otherwise, they rub their tum tums and rub their necks, you know, <laughs> their throats, and they yes. they always like it. And if I want to hug them, then meanwhile I use my hands, not just hug and you know, so tightly in my arms, but I massage them, and they like that. Oh, okay, nice. And massage under their ears, around their ears, the neck, the back, their legs, and their tails, and then they just have to drop, you know. <laughs> They drop on their bed or on the floor and continue enjoying the massage. Yes. <laughs> Closing their eyes and like uh, humming or what does the cat do? Purr. <laughs> purring. purring, yes, purring. <laughs> dog purr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog purrs. A little bit different. 
than the cat, but it is still a purring type <laughs> of noise, enjoying, you know, enjoying. Yeah. Yeah. And when I just stopped for a while because I was probably itching or just resting, they put their paws on my hand, <laughs> drawing it to their <laughs> body again. <laughs> More please. <laughs> yeah. That's so encore, nice. encore, encore, <laughs> encore. Encore, yeah. Uh, and they're so good, so good. Oh, I can't remember all the things they do. It's so endearing, you know, so endearing. Like I have a sofa somewhere, wherever, if I can have a sofa, you know, to rest sometimes on it, or sit there and read something, or call on the phone. They never want to go up there. I invite them. They say, no. I say, why? You don't like me? They say, no, no. It's for you. We respectfully keep it for you. We sit on the floor. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, they are so respectful, so respectful. Oh, it's amazing. Yes, amazing, amazing. And there's one dog in the present group. She would never eat anything, even her favorite uh, uh, veggie bone, until I pet her. Oh. Until I caress her and tell her that she's wonderful, she's good, and she's... My friend, and I always love her, then she will eat. Oh, wow. Before I didn't know, I thought, what's wrong? Is something wrong with her, you know, sick or something? Hmm. And then when I touch her, I say, are you okay? Ah, I still love you, don't worry, always good. It is just a snack for love. And then she ate, then I know from then on. <laughs> and then next time, the same, the same, the same. Then I know that she needs to be shown love before she eats, because they love those kinds of stuff. Like I give them some seaweed, you know, mm -hmm. seaweed sheet, something like that, and then a little uh, veggie bone to clean the teeth after. Yeah. Oh, okay. She loves to eat, but she won't eat unless. <laughs> oh. Unless he has the dose of lovey dovey first, yeah? Okay. <laughs> uh, things like that, you know. That's her appetizer. <laughs> yeah, 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 perhaps so, yeah. <laughs> it's more important than the food that she <laughs> loves, more than the favorite food. And then she will eat immediately, like hungrily, you know, <laughs> because it's, it's her favorite food, oh. yes. Wow. But I always ask God first because everyone, all beings, are allotted some kind of a sum of food or money or whatever possession they have. Oh. So I always ask God first, please, even if my dogs don't have enough merit to eat some extra food, please, uh, it's on me. Oh, wow. Please bless it so that they might be able to enjoy just some little bit of extra things in life. Being a dog is already not an easy life. Yeah. So I pray and bless before I give it to them. Wow. Because I was told before that dog people should not eat too much more than they have. They already been fed all day. Okay. A special food and design menu and all that already. But whenever they came to see me, I would like to give them a little bit extra of something, their favorite. Yes. But yeah. I always have to pray first and ask the food to be blessed in case. <laughs> And I say, they came to me, they're my guests, so please, I need to fit the guests something. Right. And it's on me, whatever, whatever karma. If I remember something else, I will tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you know, they are very endearing. Like, before they go out for a walk with the assistant, they always come first to me to say so long, you know, making... <laughs> My kids are first, you know, like kissing my toes or prostrating or jumping or just very endearing. And one of the dog people, the smallest one, keep running back and forth, back and forth between the assistant and myself. She couldn't make up her mind to stay, to go. She wanted to stay, but she had to go to do her business. So she was just feeling very like struggling. <laughs> so finally I had to say, go, please. And then she left, like immediately. She leaves immediately. Many of them are like that. Most of them, they're very, very reluctant to go out, leaving me alone, but they have to. They know that, so they kind of struggle and always come to me and try so hard 
want to stay and all that. And I had to tell them, see you next time, very soon, to reassure them that we will not be apart for too long. They're very, very endearing, very endearing. Oh, and whatever they ask me to do, I say, okay, I will do that, but give me some time, okay? Then they would, uh, you know, kiss my face, meaning they know, they know, it's okay. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, they always tell me if somebody's not good for me, but I say I don't have enough people. Okay, good or not, I have to use, uh. because I have no, no choice. I have to always move around, and wherever I go, I need to use whomever I can. Not using, but asking for help. Yes. And I always give them some extra a little reward or some love or whatever I can, like snacks or whatever. Yes, Master. And I pay for whatever service that is uh, done and necessary. I pay like outside people. Yes. Dogs, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're so enduring. If sometimes the dog people bark for no reason at all, because if you don't see anything outside or anybody come into your house or any suspicious signal outside, yeah. and the dog people bark still, is because some bad people are coming nearby. Oh. Yes, or some zealous demons, you know, some ghosts were trying to do something. To the humans. Oh, wow. Ah, of course they do that to me, yeah, but to most humans, they also do that. They also want humans. But humans do not understand that it's a problem. Wow. Most humans do not understand unless they are psychic. Our animal people, communicators, are very, very in tune with their dog people. Yes. I saw some time before in Britain got talent or Americans got talent. They show some dog person who is psychically connected with the owner, and the dog can tell the owner something that happened far long, long before that show got talent. Oh, okay. And it turned out to be all correct. Wow. <laughs> on the screen, on the TV. Wow. Not like hidden somewhere. It was right there on the spot. You know that. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen them. I just happened to see it. Sometimes maybe I'm in a restaurant or something, or a restaurant has such a program showing, and I saw such things. Wow. Oh. Yeah. On different countries, got talent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. And uh, millions of people watched it, including those who were near the stage, who were watching on site. Yeah. Truly, dog people are very, very psychic. Most animal people are psychic. Wow. Even if they are born because of karma, not just because they have a mission to be born into a family or to some corner to help humans in some way, even if they are born because of karma, they still have this psychic power. They are all connected. Mm. She says she's really, really grateful to be here, first of all. She's really, really grateful to be here on this property with April and Michael. She's really happy and grateful for her life. She says she's been given a good job. Tell me more, Poquita. She says that she's not really sure that the world wants to hear, that that camera wants to hear, you know, her story. And she's showing me flashes of things. She's showing me animals being in a corral and tightly squeezed. I'd see actually in a tight container, it feels like a metal box, maybe the back of a truck or something. They think they're gonna die. She says that, you know, like coming here, it's, it's really beautiful. Like in the, in the darkness that she felt in that, in that environment and just like certain death and maybe even torture before death, just not knowing, you know, where she was going or what she was going to do, what, what, what her what fate was going to befall her. And then, you know, ending up here is like amazing. It's like, it's such a gift and she wants to give back. She wants, she, like the, the gratitude that she has is so is so much that she wants to give back by 
teaching the others that come here about love. Poquita's telling me that there are coyotes around, there are snakes around, and she tells them where they are. She knows, she can sense where the coyotes and the snakes are. She says that if we don't act smart, the coyotes might think that one of us is easy pickings. She says, I'm wise. I know my way around out there. A woman called me once from Switzerland and said to me, my dog is dying, I have to put her down. And she asked me to communicate with her. So I told her, you know, she's really not totally ready. Something's missing, even though it would be an act of compassion to let her leave. But she does want to stay a bit longer, about three days. A few months later, she called me and she said, you know that day when you communicated with my dog? Well, we finally decided to wait those three days and my son came back home. Actually, he was in the army and he wasn't supposed to come back, but he did. So he came back and he went in the house and my dog went straight over to him. So my son crouched down and took the dog in his arms and she died in his arms. Because the illusionary power doesn't take that telepathy power from them. Ah. They see there's no use, though no need, because dogs or animals, people, they are already very helpless or defenseless, most of them, except those who have to take care of the weak, the sick and the old, the predators, unless they are born as predators to take care of the population of other animals who are maybe sick or maybe uh, possessed by demons or have a lot of karma or something like that. They have to take care of, eliminate them. Right. Animals are already in an unfortunate or uh, weak situation, except for those predators who were born to do their job, to regulate the population of other animals, people. Okay. That's why mostly animals, people, even vicious animal people, do not attack humans at all. They avoid humans. But now and then you hear something that animals attack humans. <coughs> Even some small animals like squirrels or snakes attack humans. Oh, wow. And even they mostly avoid humans. It's just that some humans are not really humans, even though they look like humans. Mm. But their bodies, their minds are possessed by devils or something. Yes, yes. Or they have such a huge karma <coughs> that they don't look like humans anymore in their eyes of the animal people, so they are allowed to eat them or oh, attack wow. them. Yeah. But rarely animal people attack humans because of that, because humans are the crown of the creation. Yes, Master. And have a spark of God in them. Right. Thus, we humans are very precious. It's just that us humans don't know how to develop their preciousness and their spiritual highness, their royalty, spiritual royalty that they are next to God, that they are second to God. This is a very sad thing. Yes. I wouldn't want to, but I just want to beat myself up and say, my God, what can I do for them? How can I tell them more to let them remember this? Otherwise they will suffer either in the human world or degrade into the animal world or into hell and be burned and be tortured. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. So is it true that you saw hell? Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. I saw the real hell. I was there. And I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. I don't care what a person has done to me. I would never wish that on them. Um, but for me, the way it went is that I thought that I was having a heart attack. And uh, I physically, my, my spirit left my physical body. And I thought that I was going upward but because uh, I had thought I had done so much good in this lifetime and helped so many people and made so many decisions that were godly decisions. But um, as opposed to me going up, I went down. One of the things that I saw that just blew me away was there's a man on, on all fours, like a dog. He was burned from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet and his eyes were bulging out. And what was worse than that is that he had a chain around his neck. So he was like a dog in hell. And what was even worse than that is that who was holding the chain, it, it was a demon holding the chain. And I knew because their things are not, they're not said, they're known. You just, it's like a telepathic communication. Um, I knew that this demon was sent in this man's life to ride him from his childhood 
until the time that he died because the demon knew that if I could stay in his life long enough on the earth, if I can keep getting him to not serve God and to make bad decisions on the earth, then I'll have power over him in hell and he'll be a slave to me. So it's like twice a slave. It's like you're a slave on the earth to the things of the devil. And then in hell, you're, you're really like a tormented dog slave. Uh, so and then there was another part that I experienced that just blew me away. I just I'm, it still baffles me to this day. If there was a section in hell where music was playing and it was the same music that we hear on the earth. But as opposed to uh, entertainers singing it, uh, the music demons were singing it. And it was some of the same lyrics that we hear here. I knew that on earth, a lot of the lyrics and the music and the songs are inspired by demons. So in a lot of music, people actually smoke to get high, to get verses and to get bars and to be hot and to be fresh and uh, to get that, that swag. But when they open themselves up uh, to a false high, it's like illegal access into the spirit realm. They actually come in contact with demons who give them lyrics for the purpose of controlling people on the earth. Uh, there, every lyric to every song is to torment you as to the fact that you didn't worship God through music when you were on the earth. So it's like, you know, you had a chance to worship him in church and worship him at home and worship him through music, but you chose to uh, worship Satan by repeating the lyrics that he inspired to come into the earth. So uh, there's people there for that because music is very controlling. And um, uh, I was so, I was angry with, with God because it's like, how, how did I do this much good? And, and I'm actually, um, I'm actually in hell. Well, uh, I lifted up out of hell and I came back on the earth and God began to speak to me. I actually saw the real Jesus. I saw him. And he began to speak to me and he said that, he said, you have been secretly upset with the people that hurt you. Um, you have been hoping that I would punish the people that hurt you. He said, these are not your people. These are my people. He says, I only want you to focus on the assignment that I'm giving you. Uh, and so the root of it is that although I did good, I gave a lot to people. I, I, I did a whole lot of good things. The thing that I had in my heart was unforgiveness towards people who had did me wrong. Because a person that can't forgive is a person that's forgotten how much they have been forgiven of. So uh, that's my experience with hell. Hell is a real place. And I don't believe that God doesn't send people to hell. People send themselves to hell. And whatever's still left inside of you that God has been trying to get out of you that you, you die with, that's going to determine where you go. God's going to want to know, did you learn to love well? Did you learn to forgive well? Did you serve me well? Did you do something greater than your life? Did you do anything that has eternal significance or is everything selfish? So I thank God for the light. It was Jesus because because of that light, I won't see any more days in hell. Just like you have treasure in your house and you're living as a beggar every day because you don't know it. Yes. We humans also have this telepathic power. It's just that we're too busy. We don't use it and it becomes dormant right yes it's still there it's not rusty it's just if people work less for the material and had more time for the spiritual to go inward to meditate then even if they are not enlightened much at least they would recover their telepathic ability and then they would do better in their business in their work because they will understand what their boss wants that's or right. what other people around them would do to make that work better, for example, like that. Yes, and they could that. also see if somebody has the intention to harm them in some way by this telepathic energy. All right. Yes, Master. So pity. Humans are top, top, top. They have all kinds of abilities to protect themselves, to survive even without food and water, wow, and yes. to know God. And to see the angels, to see the saints, to see all the uh, beings on the moon, on the sun, on the stars, and other invisible beings that help or try to harm them. And they have the ability to live long, 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 many, many hundreds of years, or even thousands of years of 
like maybe forever even, in the physical dimension. Wow. Not to talk about in heavens. Yes, Master. Wow. But we lost it, we lose it all because we're too busy with material gain and worry about tomorrow, food and clothing, and forever never having enough, that's why. Even if we have a house already, we want a bigger house, a better house. We have a car to travel already. We still want a more expensive Porsche car, or better than the neighbors, and even have land, have a country ruling the nation, already want another country, one more land, more riches, more fame, more power, more control. Mm, yes, Master. We have a good business already, one more business, and more busy, and so on. We lose everything else, which is more important than the whole world's treasures put together. Yes. Wow. I forever feel sorry for humans. I never am happy thinking of their lot. I could never be truly happy thinking of their lot. All right, Master. Yeah, that's what it is. Master, on a different topic, um, about the year 2027, someone mm. um, before photographed and actually videoed empty streets and empty towns. Um, yeah. Why would it get like that? Can anything be done to avoid that situation, Master? Yeah, I have told you that is. <laughs> no matter if anybody sees it or not, it will happen like that. Oh, and I'm working hard on it, okay? Yes, I'm Master. still working hard on it, but I can't promise anything. Mm, thank you, Master. Yeah, because it is like this it's the humans who will destroy humans. Oh, it's not just heavens, not just heavens. Heavens and all the saints and sages. And my humble self are working so hard to try to protect all the humans possible. Mm, yes, Master. But now you can see a new variant, and it's even much more lethal than the other one before that. All right. And then you can see the Russians go in and killing the Ukrainians and killing their own citizens, soldiers, yes. more than even the Ukrainians killed. Oh, the Ukrainians God. also die, but not as many as the Russian side. Yes, Master. And then threaten with whatever bomb. Yes. And this 2027, I was told that, but we can change it. If humans change it, more people be vegan. Yes, the more Master. people be vegan, the more peace will arrive and quicker. Yes, Master. That's if humans right. don't change enough the critical mass portion, then that will happen, the 2027 will happen, at least in many cities, not oh, the whole planet, wow. perhaps, because we're working hard to prevent it, okay, inside. Yes, Master. That's why I'm telling you, I was too busy, busy. No. Oh. I'm thanking heavens and earth that I could survive on one meal a day. Before, when I just became a monk, you know, official monk, I, I ate also one meal a day, but because I had to cook for the other people and the temple and all that, and work very hard to clean the whole temple and do other chores, I was feeling the bodily hunger and the desire to eat. Yes. But the desire to eat, I don't have. Whoa. That's what I'm grateful for. You see what I'm saying? It's not about one meal a day or not. Yes, Master. It's the desire that is important to cut, okay? Right. I'm grateful I could I could kneel all day to thank God and thank heaven, whoever helps me wow. to be okay with that, yes. yes. I would prefer no food, no drink at all. So wow. I have more time, more time even, okay? Wow. Yeah, but I'm trying to get more and more organized. So I have very little time for cooking now for preparing food now, so it's okay. But the thing is, I'm forever grateful for that. Yes. yes. It's very, very uh, difficult to go with one meal a day without design, desiring for more. And now and then, yes, still have, because if I work too hard, you know, I work too long, long hours, and have not enough time to go inside, and now and then I could have that desire, but I told you I could have some fruit juice or something or water, yeah? Yes, okay? Master. It would be better for me if I, <laughs> I desire to have no food, no drink, <laughs> uh -huh. or maybe just water. 
But the thing is, if I cut off all connections like that, then I can't work for humans anymore. Wow. I can't work for humans or an animal people because we are connected through this, you know, economic food system. Yes, Master. Because all the world works for that. Right, that's true. To bring food to your house. All yes. the world is involved, okay? <laughs> not just the farmers, not just the animals, people with the fertilizer, not just the earth, the soil and the worms, but even the transporters, the gasoline people, yeah, the oil industry, yes. and the wood, the leaves, you know, the people who take leaves and all that to make it into a compost, yeah, for example, to make food, you see, to fertilize the food, all kinds of things, everything. Right. Yeah? Yes, the be. people who make the machines for uh, plowing the land. Yes. Yeah? And the people who have to pluck the weeds, the people who have to process the food, to wash the vegetables, to wash the potatoes, to grind the uh, flour, all kinds of things. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Master. Yeah, etc. And all kinds of things. You see, all kinds of things are involved. The people who make the streets even, the roads, yeah? Right. In order for the transportation to come to your house, to, to your supermarket. And the people who work in the supermarket, the inventory people, you know, yes. the, the security men for the supermarket, yes, yeah, right. the people who make the, the computer to cash in the money from customers, yes. the cashier, uh, the bank, the bankers, the people who protect the bank and uh, the ATM machine and blah, blah, blah. The ATM makers. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And the fruit juice the machine inventor and the one who takes care of it, uh, no end. That's right. Yes, Master. No end to the list. Now you know. Okay, huh? Yes. So I don't really like to eat and drink at all and must go to the bathroom and all that. It's a lot of time wasting, you know? Yes, that's true. But I'm always concentrating inside, so at least it's, it's something. But still, if I cut it all that, then then I can go. <laughs> oh. You can go home. Yeah. Oh. Uh, why do we talk about this? Ah, the 2027. 20, 20, because there will be humans who use some kind of biochemical bomb that will make humans disappear into thin air. Oh, goodness. Completely gone, even bones and nails, everything. You will see nothing. Wow. It will become air. Wow. Not even dust. That's why everything will still be there, even but people will be gone. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, you will not see anyone. Anything that has blood, that has breathing, will be gone. Wow. Gee, we... Anything that is sentient. Wow. Yeah, anything that moves, even the worms inside the earth will also be gone. Wow. Mosquitoes. Little insects. Yes. Even invisible, almost invisible insects, like sand flies, they call it. So stuff like that. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that kind of sand fly, you don't see them, but they will f f make a big bomb on your skin if they land on your skin and take your blood or whatever they do. In Canada, they call them no see them, <laughs> meaning you don't see them. <laughs> <laughs> but they exist. Even that, gone. Any bacteria, any virus in the air will also be gone. It's a good thing that all this are gone, but humans also have to be gone. Animal people all will be gone. Fish, birds, anything that's surrounding that bomb or that device can touch will be gone into thin air. Nothing. And that will affect for a long time afterwards. If somebody happens to still be alive and walk into that zone that will also be gone. Wow. And if it fades after a while, they may be half gone, half the body gone, or just the flesh gone, mm -hmm. the bone stay, for example, until long, long, long time. I don't know how long. I can't tell you. I I'm just too, too busy to research into all these horrible, evil human inventions and intentions. Yes, Master. Gosh. We're still working hard on it, but no promise. Yes, Master. No promise. Maybe you can 
prevent safe in some areas, some cities, but mm. I'm not sure it can be completely prevented for the humans and animals, people. Mm. I'm not sure it can be completely prevented. Very sorry. Yes, yes. I told you, that's why I'm so sad. Christmas, New Year, whatever, I could not think about it. Yes. I eat leftover salad on New Year. Wow. Yes, Master. Both New Year's, that's what I remember. Yeah. Wow. I didn't have time to cook, so I just ate whatever raw that was eatable. Now, anything else? Yes, Master, one more. Uh, the deadline for Master's last warning for people to repent and be vegan is almost here. Is there mm. any further message Master has about this? No. Mm. It's the same. Wow. Human karma is too heavy. They have to try it themselves. But uh, we still continue to give initiation for whoever is worthy. Okay. But there might be more screening from now, from the deadline. Not just anybody can be accepted like before. Oh, wow. It will be hard screening. But you can see there are obstacles already, like the last initiation in Macau. The police prevented it. Yeah. It's not I who did it, it's not I who stopped it or who screened. The police came and raided the venue, the area, and also raided some of your brother and sister's uh, private uh, area or computers or whatever. Wow. Yeah. Some people ran away, <laughs> too scared. I don't know why they were so scared. And the police say, oh, we just want to check if you take any money from people or not. That's all the answer. But some people ran away from the country. Mm, gosh. They probably never had that before. That's why they never had such trouble before. Yes. And if they came from China, then maybe they would be more scared. I wasn't there to see the situation, and it wasn't 100% reported to me. I said, okay, never mind, stop it. Wow. Otherwise, there will be more trouble. Wow. Uh, I have to protect myself to continue my work. Yes, Master. Thank you for doing that. Too much exposure is not too good. Yes, Master. I told them, if you can, then can. If cannot, then cannot. Right. Yes. Uh, Cannot do much if the world karma is affecting each other, you know. People's karma is affecting each other. Right. Many countries have big karma. Wherever I go, I check how much percentage of karma that country has. Oh, sometimes it's too scary, you know. Wow. Yeah. But where you are right now is less. Okay. Less doesn't mean not. Understand, yes. It's less than 10%. And I'm glad. Yes, okay. That's very little already. Very little. Yes, thanks God. Less than 10%, that's very little already, compared to everywhere else. Wow, yes. Compared to many others. I don't have time to check other countries. Right. But uh, many countries I have been to before, at least 40%, and 40% plus, or so 50% plus, oh God, nobody can ever solve all that. Wow. They have to help themselves. They have to be vegan, be benevolent, be repentant truly to God. Ask God for forgiveness or else, or else really. Right. No saints, no sages that come to this world can dissolve all that world karma from all countries put together. Yes, Master. The Buddha say that human beings, if you could see their karma, you won't see the sky anymore. It will cover the whole sky. Right. If you can see the invisible things, the invisible energy of that karma, it covers the whole sky. That's what they said. Wow. Yeah. Oh dear. Mm. Only when people are sincere and vegan for three months at least, then I will consider giving initiation. But it's more restricted this time from yes. then. And other people have to be vegan, repentant to God, and then see if they can be saved. I can only help the initiates. Wow. Because they repented and they continue to repent and continue to contact the God power within themselves. Yes. And that's how they can remember and sustain themselves to be good. 
because you have been born and you have been either on this planet or other physical worlds for a long time already. Yes. And if you meditate with this quanin method, you'll be able to remember all of your past lives or some of it at least. Yes, Master. Your soul will remind your mind that you have done this, done that, and now you should change to this and that and others. And they saw their past lives, good or bad, and they will learn from it also. Because when they contact with these uh, past lives, the God power will change it all. At the time of initiation, the karma for this life is erased, deleted. But some of the past karma is still there. Right. When they contact their own God power, the God spark within, the spark is also part of God. Yes, Master. Just like a drop of water in the ocean is also part of the ocean. That's right. So if they contact with this God power, then the karma inside, the old karma, will be changed. They will know themselves that, okay, that thing I did was bad. And those things I did, past life or the life before were good. It was beneficial to me. So they will live according to that. And then they will understand the Master's teaching more profoundly. They will appreciate it more, so they will continue to kind of polish their mind, not the soul. The soul is always good. Yes, Master. Just their mind will be polished, will be changed will be altered to be better and better to a more goodness direction. So the mind will not tell the brain or dictate the body to do any more bad things. And they do only good. Yes, Master. Right. Okay. So it's the mind that we worry about now, even after initiation. Yes. Not to talk about the people who are not initiated. Their minds are influenced by all kinds of things. Bad or good, they follow whatever they like to follow. And sometimes it's not all good for them to follow what their minds dictate them. Okay? Yes, that's right, Master. The mind is very powerful mm. in this kind of physical world. It influences all the way up to the second level. We are in the physical level, okay? Yes. We don't talk about hell and astral, <laughs> hell below that. Okay, we're in the physical, and then we have astral. And then we have the second level, the builder level, and the third level, okay? Whenever you come, even from the third level or fourth, fifth level, you have to pass through the second level to install the mind in your being so that you can function in this world. Mm -hmm. But then that mind is also easily influenced by all kinds of things, from Maya and all that. Yes. And then it will dictate humans to do bad things. Oh, yeah. And good things also, it depends on whether or not the positive power or the negative power wins. Mm. Yes, uh, both master. sides inside. Even uh, for the master, the master has to be equipped with both like that, the bad and the good. Oh. So the negative power on one side fights with the positive on the other side, especially for the masters, to make the master's life hell. Wow. So any master on this planet doesn't just have to fight with humans' badness and try to change them, but has to also endure this inside battle that's caused by the negative power. Sometimes it looks harmless. For example, the positive power directed, the soul directed the mind, the mind tells the brain, directs the master's mind, go buy that house or that land is good for you. And the negative power will say, no, no, it's no good. That, this, all, no good. Right, yes. And this arrays all kinds of things to make the mind confused. Yeah. Oh, yes. Or don't go here, don't go there, for example, like that. Yes. But the master still has to go, has to do things, no matter what. It's just sometimes delay or sometimes an obstacle comes along. But the master will always have to try to do what they can. Yes, master. So much of the calm of the world is to create obstacles for the master's work and the body. Right can make it all kinds of sickness and all kinds of things, even. Uh, so anyone who practices the Kuan Yin method, they are in contact with God. If they truly, sincerely and humbly practice this method, they can contact with this original God power, and then that will change their life. That's why you see your brothers and sisters, they experience miracles all the time. Whether or not 
they know. Yes, that's right. Sometimes they know, but most of the time they don't know. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mostly they're not even allowed to know. Right. Some karmic laws, some things, or some energy affects them from their family members or friends or workplace or whatever, and blinds them to some extent that they don't know. Right. But those who know even don't know all the time. Just sometimes they know it. Yes, that's yeah. right. Master. But sometimes they know instinctively or intuitively, but they don't see it so clearly, like in no. vision or dream. Understand, yes, Master. Or in the physical evidence. Yes, that's right. Like their car is all smashed, but they have just some scratches on their, <laughs> on their toe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wow. Oh, Ukraine. Why is Russia losing? It's because heavens are helping. Right, yes. True. Why Russian uh, insurance even fire them themselves, kill their own <laughs> troops. Yes. Either a mistake or miscalculation or whatever. Yes. They are the invaders, but they're dying more than the native Ukrainians. Right. And so many of the deadly weapons do not function, or function in the wrong direction, or just go anywhere except to the Ukrainian army, for example. Yes. Of course, there's some karma, you know, no doubt, and some have to suffer so much. Buildings and all that were bombed and destroyed. And don't have electricity even in winter, but the world is helping them even. Yes, Master. I can't remember any other war that the whole world is helping one country like that wholeheartedly, diligently, and continuously in their time of real need. Yes, Master. Yes, true. So truly, heaven is helping Ukraine a lot. Even nobody has to believe me. Just see the results, see the effects. Then. They would believe that. Yes, that's right. What for? I tell these lies. For what reason? It doesn't benefit me anything. Yes, true. It could be even the opposite, because I can't prove it. Yes, Master. But I have to tell the truth always, all the time, any time. I think I have answered you, how? Huh? Yes, thank you, Master. Yeah. But I don't know how long even I can be allowed to give initiation. Wow. I'm busy in all directions, you know, protecting the whole planet, not just the disciples, not just the would-be initiates. So whoever is lucky with heaven's blessing and grace can come to get initiation. I can't even be sure that it will be like that forever. Wow. Either they will die before initiation, or the world will not exist anymore after some time. Oh, my goodness. oh, I will be gone. Yeah. Oh, dear. My life is also physical. Do you understand? Yes, Master. And if my physical body is not there, then I'm not there. Oh. Then I can't give any more initiation permission, oh. either personally or through my monks and nuns' residence. Yeah, monks and nuns also die. Many of them also die already gone to heaven already. When their allotted uh, time is uh, finished, they go. <laughs> They're happy to go. Right. It's not like the initiation can be going on forever even. Yes. Oh, who knows, the police like in Macau come in and raid the initiation uh, center and then everybody has to go. Wow. Some, you know, some of them come from China and If they don't have it there, it's difficult to have it elsewhere. Yes. Yeah. In China, they also restricted some areas many times also. Wow. It's not like they will nail me on the cross or anything, but there are a lot of obstacles and physical suffering. Oh, Master. And mental and psychological suffering, of course. Oh, gosh. For, for all beings. Yes, Master. And just, just seeing the animal people suffer every day. I feel like dying already. Oh. I always pray, I always cry whenever I see it. And I talk to God and say, how much 
longer do they have to suffer? How many more days do I have to pray to you? Mm. How much more do I have to humbly beg you, cry to you? You know, even just just sometimes I, I ask if I could just go a long, long time ago, you know. I asked if I could go to be a slave for Putin, oh my God. so that he could stop the war in Ukraine, and I would do anything in exchange for the suffering of Ukraine and to stop the war. But heaven told me it won't work that way. Wow. Even if he accepts that proposal, it won't work. Oh. How so? The karma has to be taken care of, and wherever. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have to be the Ukrainian karma. It is the world collective karma, and it either happens here or happens there. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Just like in the family, there's some vulnerable person. Yes, Master. If something happens to the house, the vulnerable person will die first. Mm. Yeah? cannot run. Yes, that's true. And the others cannot take them out. They're too heavy or too cumbersome. It's not possible to carry a person out of a of a, a house on fire, for example. There's only one little place, and only one person can crawl out, for example, like that. Yes, Master. And it's too late even to come back for the vulnerable person. Oh, gosh. So the, the fire will attack the vulnerable person, for example, like that. Yes, Master. Or in the whole, the whole herd of maybe animal people, okay, like deer people. All the strong and young will run fast, but the older or the sick ones will lag behind, and the predator will take that one. Yes. Because it's easy and it's obvious, it's normal. So Ukraine has given away all her nuclear bombs, being seduced into giving up all their nuclear weapons. Right. And now <laughs> they have nothing. You know, they're vulnerable. They're next to a giant predator, Russia. That's right. So it's easier to attack them. All right, Master. Yeah. Wow. That's what it is. That's why I'm crying for the Ukrainians. I help them however I can, and our TV continues to support them on air. Yes, Master. And that helps, even though nobody sees it. Yes, I'm sure it does. That helps in the political arena. Yes, Master. To help Ukraine. Yes. Thanks. It's the fact like that. That's okay? right, Master. So you can see that sometimes the opinion changes right away or the help changes and all kind of things that happen. That's true. Not just uh, not just the bomb of Russia goes to useless areas. That's right, yes. Many other things. I I can have a long book about it, but I don't have time for anything. And who cares, you know? Who cares? As long as it's helped, who cares that people know or do not know about it? Yes. yes. Um, I answer your question, right? You did, Master. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Master. Oh, just ask you about something and now we talk for so long. <laughs> okay, then it's good. God bless you, God protect you. Thank you, Master. Thank you. I love you. And I love you. Thank you, Master. And uh, by the way, I send all my love, my praise, my appreciation to all your brothers and sisters, in-house and remote, in the whole world. Thank you, Master. Anyone who has anything to do a little bit of praise for world peace, world liberation. World liberation is more important than world peace, of course, but I don't dare to ask for more. I pray myself in my heart that the world might have peace and liberation. Liberation meaning enlightenment and their souls can be liberated. Yes, Master. Even if their physical bodies have to suffer due to their karma. But I try and beg heaven and God to let me do what I can to help their souls so they can be liberated you know, after the physical body. Yes, Master, thank you. Of course, other things, but that's the most important, that their souls will be liberated. That's all my heart desires. Yes, Master. All right, my love. 
Nothing else, huh? No, Master. Thank you. Okay. May you always be safe and always protected. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for yes. everything you do, Master. We are very lucky yes, I... and blessed. Yes, yes, I protect myself. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for doing that. By praying. <laughs> Praying to God, I said, God, if you really still want me to work for your children in this world, then just you just have to take care of me. I don't have a lot of time to take care of myself even. Yes, Master. Sometimes I don't eat enough, I don't have enough rest, whatever. But I said, God, my life is in your hands. That's all I can say. Yes, Master. That's all the protection that I ask. <laughs> That's all the protection that I think I might have. Yes, Master. Well, we pray for you too. Uh, pray for the world's liberation. Yes, Master. Okay. It seems like physical wellness is, is nowhere to be guaranteed. So we pray for their soul's liberation. Yes, Master. Okay. We're vegan. Then we'll have world peace. And then world liberation, according to that. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Ciao, my love. Goodbye, Master.